Hello everybody, this is John with Napco Technical Support. In this brief video tutorial, I'm going to be going over the Z-Wave device setup screen uh, in the iBridge app, explaining briefly what each button does and their functionality. Uh, for detailed instructions, you can download our Z-Wave Home Automation System Manual, uh, manual number OI378A, and that's on our technical support site at tech.napcosecurity.com. So here we're going to select user settings and click on Z-Wave. This will take us to our home uh, automation management screen and we will click on Z-Wave device setup. And here at the bottom of the screen here you're going to see these buttons which we'll, we'll be going over today. Uh, add device, remove device, edit, abort, erase all, and advanced settings. So add device here is uh, simply how we add uh, new Z-Wave devices into the uh, iBridge. Uh, as you see, it says add node started. At this point, we would walk over to each individual uh, Z-Wave device and in that enroll mode, enroll it into the uh, screen here. Uh, we would just abort that. And the second button here, we have remove device. And the opposite, if we're looking to take a uh, device out of this list here, we can remove it from here um, by just pressing removal started. And now you would uh, unenroll the Z-Wave device at the switch or device uh, that you're looking to remove. And we could just hit abort here. Uh, the edit icon here allows us to, uh, if you select each individual uh, Z-Wave uh, device here, uh, this will allow us to edit uh, the description name, um, also allow us to uh, check off uh, include all lights groups. And what that means is uh, each individual light, if you go into the automation um, icon and if you wanted to press all lights on and all lights off any light that you include to the all lights group this will uh, allow it to uh, turn on and off all together in a group so uh, you could do that here and again for the z-wave uh, lock you could do the same include to all locks group if you wanted to do a lock all and an unlock all uh, via the main pie screen uh, that can also get done here and you could select individual locks to be included into that group um, you can press OK, and again, you know, each one you can uh, do the same for, the edit the name uh, here, so we just press OK, and then we have an abort button, which is mainly used for the add and remove uh, devices here. Um, the next uh, button here is erase all devices. Uh, this button here removes all the uh, devices here from the list. Um, keep in mind that it does not uh, remove the data that's at the actual Z-Wave device, like the home node. So if you were going to re-enroll uh, the Z-Wave devices after pressing erase all devices, you still will need to press remove device before re-adding it back into the system. Uh, so it's very important to notate. So if you just wanted to erase it all, you can just press erase all devices, and it will confirm. In this case, we won't be, but uh, that button there. And then we have advanced settings here. And as you see at the bottom... We have a couple more options here. We have uh, replace failed devices, remove failed devices, add new controller as a primary, learn, rebuild mesh, and device association start. Uh, so the replace failed devices is where you can easily remove an existing failed or unplugged or if it's a missing device uh, using this button. Uh, so you would, um, you know, highlight, you know, the failed device. And again, they have to be in a failed state because this will try to communicate to the device, and if it succeeds, you're, you would have to proceed to the remove device, which is on the screen uh, we just uh, were at before. So, you know, in this case, you know, you could select your dimmer, hit replace failed device. If the uh, device has been removed from the system entirely, it will fail, and then it will allow you to re-enroll the, uh, the new device. Uh, the next button here is remove failed devices. Uh, so this actually just allows you to you know, you're not replacing it. You just say if you, you know, someone uninstalled a light switch or pulled out a thermostat and it's still in your list and you just can't get it out of there, you know, you would press, uh, you know, you would highlight uh, the device that you're looking to remove. And it, again, it'll try to communicate to the Z-Wave device. And uh, if it's not there, it will remove it from the list. And for this next button here, add new controller as primary. Um, this button, uh, only one primary controller is allowed in your system and only the primary controller uh, can add or delete devices. 
Uh, a primary controller can be in the form of a static or permanently mounted controller, uh, just like the IBRZ remote. Uh, it could be a portable device like a handheld remote controller or a Z-Wave enabled computer or even an Ethernet router or bridge. Uh, again, this is a, definitely an advanced setting. Uh, you like to look at our manual for uh, the complete step-by-step uh, -step instructions and why you might want to add a new primary controller. Again, this is an option that we do offer, so uh, we do advise that you look in the uh, user manual for full instructions on how to do that. Um, the next button here is the uh, Learn button. Uh, this button uh, here is uh, used to transfer Z-Wave device data from a current primary controller uh, for example, a handheld uh, controller from another Z-Wave uh, device manufacturer, uh, and that information will be transferred to the NAPCO IBRZ remote controller, and it in turn makes the NAPCO uh, Z remote the primary controller. So, for example, if uh, new devices are added uh, to a handheld remote uh, primary controller, and those dev new devices exist only in the primary handheld controller, the Learn button will add those devices to the IBRZ remote controller and will simultaneously make the NAPCO IBRZ remote the primary controller. Um, in addition, the former uh, primary controller will be retained within the system as a secondary controller. Again, uh, full step-by-step -step instructions are in the uh, user manual on our tech support site, uh, so we do encourage you to go visit uh, and download the uh, manual uh, to get more detailed instructions on it. Uh, the next uh, button here is Rebuild Mesh. This is a, a widely used button. Uh, rebuilding the Mesh is a request to uh, redesign the internal uh, Z-Wave uh, database routing table to increase communication efficiency and to accelerate device response times. Uh, each device or controller in the system not only captures an, uh, uh, its own network data, but it also relays the data for the other uh, nodes or Z-Wave devices in that same network. So. Rebuilding the mesh should be performed uh, after physical changes are made to the network, uh, such as maybe after a home construction projects, uh, the addition of new appliances or wireless devices, or any other physical changes at the premises that might affect network communications, um, you know, where you would want to rebuild the mesh. And we encourage to rebuild the mesh, uh, say, after you enrolled uh, all of your Z-Wave devices um, on your system, you know, your lights, your locks, your thermostats, um, and you rebuild the mesh, that will, again, redesign the whole database routing table uh, to allow um, each device to communicate at its uh, most efficient back to the uh, IBRZ remote controller. Uh, the next button here is the device association start. Uh, this button is mainly used for uh, three-way uh, switches that have a uh, secondary device. So the association allows a Z-Wave transmitter uh, source, like a secondary device, um, again, certain uh, manufacturers have a, um, like Leviton and other manufacturers have a three-way switch that you can add a secondary switch um, to it without having to run the uh, additional wiring uh, for the electrical. So uh, this uh, sends the command directly uh, to the other target, to the master uh, Z-Wave uh, device. You know, again, you could have a light switch on uh, the bottom of the stairs and you can install a secondary on the top and uh, the master, you know, you would associate the master to the secondary, and this will allow uh, both to uh, activate the one uh, master switch here. So, again, all of our uh, detailed instructions are in the uh, user manual um, on the uh, OI378A, which is downloadable on the technical support site at tech.napcosecurity.com. And that concludes the advanced settings uh, tab here for the iBridge uh, Z-Wave device setup screen. Uh, again, we went over uh, each button, briefly explaining what each, each button does and its functionality. Um, for more information, please visit us online at tech.napcosecurity.com. And we thank you very much for watching.